Hey guys, awesome possum fifty eight here, or you could call me ballistic or whatever you want because I changed my YouTube name. And today I'm gonna be reviewing sorry about the lag by the way. Today I'm gonna be reviewing and showing you how to install the water shaders alpha mod. And this is what the water looks like. It is really nice. And it's still in its alpha stage, um, so it's gonna have a little bit, a couple bugs. Um, sometimes the shadowing, the lighting changes in the map, and all that. And the water is sort of out of place sometimes. But that's pretty much um, what I'm going to show you today. I'm just gonna show you how to install the mod. And this is for Mac. I do Mac and Windows videos. So uh, yeah, I have full screen mode. I mean, I put it on um, small um, small screens <laughs> so it wouldn't lag that much. And uh, yeah, this is the shaders mod for water shaders. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to install it. So all you're gonna basically need is uh, the one file that um, you um, uh, you're gonna be using. This is basically the shaders. So once you download it, you're gonna want to go to here. Let me do this again. I'm gonna want to go to Finder. I'm gonna want to go to Library. Just type in. So I have a bunch of crap. Library. Application support. Minecraft, and you're going to want to go down to versions. Once you go down to versions, you're going to see all this stuff. Don't mind these two because this is my raised minimap and this is my uh, shaders. So you're going to want to. I just do this all the time. I make. I copy my 1.6.2, copy it, then paste it. And then you're going to want to open it. You're going to have these two. And you're just going to want to name this water. I don't know, you can name it whatever you want. Water. It's, well, both of them are going to need uh, to be the same. So you're going to want to double click the JSON file. And you're going to want, and you're going to see this. You're going to go to 1.6.2 right here, delete that, and type water. Then you want to go to Command S to save and then close that off. And now, here comes the sort of complicated part. You could say complicated, but um, it's not really that complicated. Me. Go to this water dot jar and take away the jar and put zip. Once you do, you zip, double click it, and you will get this water folder. Double click that and click M and you will get this meta.inf or in you could you uh, need to delete that then oh stay in the folder once you delete it you have to get your water shader which is right here you want to double click that get go to you'll get this folder then you want to copy all four of these files except the shader one so I'm just gonna add them in like that oh you are also gonna click replace and get the last one and it's a little bit of a mess but I'll fix it later so we want to get those four files in there and then you want to stay in that folder then you're gonna want to click one hit command A and then right click and then compress 1,564 items and then you're going to want to go up here sorry you're going to want to go up here click A then click water right here click A and R I don't know why it's not coming It's weird. Let me try it again. Okay. 
Okay. So made it that infus deleted. You wanna click one, command A, right click, compress. That should do its thing. And A water. That's weird. Hmm. I honestly have no idea what's going on with that. Is it on the desktop? Alright, um... <laughs> Alright, so... I'm just gonna go on and show you what's supposed to be here. Once you compress the items, you wanna go to the search bar, search up archive, then click water right here. There should be an archive.zip, and then you should drag that archive.zip Actually, just pretend this is the archive.zip that you drag out. So once you drag out that archive.zip, you are going to close that, go back to library, do that again, I don't know. It's all being weird, my computer. Where is the library? Hmm. Ah. It's screwing up. Let me just. Uh, blah, blah. I'll put a little annotation to skip where I'm making everything up. Library. I don't know why that's happening. So I'm just gonna go up here where it says go. I'm gonna hold. Uh, you're gonna go up to go, hold option, and library. Application support, Minecraft. Then go back to versions. And then you will have your archive.zip. Oh, yeah, I forgot one more thing. You're gonna have to name this water oh, uh... you could name it shader or whatever you want you can just name the folder that and once you go in here you're gonna go in your shader or water folder and then you're gonna take away this um, water dot zip you could go ahead and remove that put in the archive and then you're gonna want to name it water dot oops water dot jar and then boom use jar and then you're gonna have that and then that's basically what is going to be done with that and then you're gonna go back to your water shaders you're gonna have the shaders um, folder, and you just drag that into your normal Minecraft where all your stuff is, where your versions, resource packs. You're gonna drag that in right anywhere, wherever you want, and then you're basically done for that. So let's start up Minecraft. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I keep always put. I always put my stuff in trash. So you're gonna load that. Then once you're done with that, you're gonna go to, go to go to new profile shaders. You can name that whatever you want. And then go to release water, and then hit save profile. But I'm not gonna do that because I already have it. So you wanna go to your water play. It's gonna start up. It's gonna take a little while the first time, but second time. It works faster. And yeah, so that's what it's supposed to look like. But it's a little laggy right now because, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's it basically for the tutorial. Hope you guys, hope it helped you guys out. And, um, yeah. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.